Okay, today I'm going to be working on the magnifying transmitter. Okay, here is the magnifying transmitter. The other day I rewound the secondary turns um, and spaced them differently. It looks like it's raining over that direction. So I noticed a lot of y'all think I'm transmitting electricity through the air. Um, that is not the case. I'm transmitting it through the earth. Um, I'm using the earth like a wire. So instead of stringing up power lines, I'm using the earth as the um, transfer method. So the top of the center coil, which is known as the extra coil, connects to that capacity at the top. Um, that acts as a capacitor, basically. Um, the bottom of that center coil, known as the extra coil, connects to the secondary. You can see it going right over here to the top turn on the secondary. I hear thunder, don't you? Okay, um, but the bottom turn on the secondary is actually right here, and it goes to the earth. See, I have it there. That is not a good ground rod at all. And then I have it go into there. Um, ideally, I ground this to the well that I dug over there. I have a 30-foot piece of galvanized pipe um, pounded into the ground. It goes past the water table. Yeah, it's probably going to rain, dang it. So if you have watched my previous videos or watched any of my live videos, you'll know that I talk about how everything is frequency and everything has a resonant frequency because atoms and molecules are made up of positive and negative charges. So you have protons, neutrons, and electrons, which are positively and negatively charged. Thus, they're electricity. And it's not direct current, it would be alternating current because direct current is like one frequency of alternating current. Um, but anyway, so that means that everything is electricity and if everything is electricity, then everything vibrates. Everything has a frequency. Um, so think of like an opera singer shattering a glass with their voice. Or think of a radio receiving on a certain frequency from a transmitting station that's on that frequency. Um, and, that, and then you'll understand resonant frequency and all that. But anyway, so think of this like the radio station, the broadcast station right here. And then I guess this could be a receiver. This is not tuned in to the to receive from the station. Okay, so this is way off tune from what this is transmitting at. This is transmitting at 168,000 hertz. I just saw some lightning over there. We're probably gonna hear thunder in a minute. Um, but anyway, so what I'll do with this, here is the bottom wire of these turns right there. I'm actually gonna ground it to this nail right here. I'm literally gonna stick this nail in the ground right there. Okay, there's the nail. We move this. This is a piece of wire insulation. There's the nail. Okay, so there's the receiving cord. That's the only connection it has to anything. Ow! Just tripped on it. Okay, now I'm actually going to adjust the ballast and then I will transfer electricity wirelessly. Okay, since it's so bright outside, the best way I can show y'all how powerful that receiving coil is, is with this neon light bulb. Notice how when I get near the magnifying transmitter, it barely lights, and then when I touch the receiving coil, it lights up a lot. Okay, here we go. I'm throwing the rotary spark gap switch. Now I will throw the main power switch. Okay, so there was that experiment. Now I'm actually going to show y'all what I plan to do in the future. So I had this, but it melted the wire. But it's gonna melt this thing, but I wanna show y'all what this thing is capable of. So y'all saw it was pulling like no amps. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect the welder ballast right here. And actually I'm going to ballast it through this microwave transformer. This is gonna be scary, but it should work. Okay, watch the ballast, or watch the amperage gauge. I think I just blew it up. Oops, hang on. Now let's try this. Still blue. Okay, now we're in business. I changed the MOT, or microwave oven transformer, and it should be connected good. Here we go, watch the amper gauge. 
There it was. It probably just melted all those windings though. You can hear it sizzling. I cooked it. Okay, I've changed the MOT or MOT. Y'all can tell I tested it once. But anyway, um, so I have connected it and replaced the welder ballast with a smaller ballast, which is the primary of this MOT. Um, now I'm going to fire it up. It, it's going to short out after it runs a minute, but you'll hear what it does and see the amper gauge. Okie dokie, yep, it shorted. Da, 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 da. Oh, well, I have like 500 more of these. So for my future ballast, instead of the welder or a microwave oven transformer, obviously I'm not going to use a microwave oven transformer, but instead of all that, I'm going to wind my own ballast, which mimics the primary of that microwave transformer, but it's going to be made of thicker wire, like really thick wire, and I'll probably put it under some kind of oil or something, some kind of cooling thing, um, and then that'll be my ballast.